What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing us how to make this end screen and the template, so yeah. It's only going to link in the description and let me complete the steps. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. And yeah, on my second channel I'll be opening previews and stuff like that, so yeah. And if this link pops up, don't download it. It's supposed to be a drive, like something like this. Now you just want to download this. Take it here, now just save it to whatever you want. I'm going to save it to downloads for now. And it's going to be a DaVinci Resolve project as it's pretty complicated and it's hard to make it a preset. So you're going to need DaVinci Resolve 17 because that's what I use. And you just pro you're going to need it. You just click open here, like that. And then you can just name whatever you want. I'll just do a tutorial. And screen. And just press OK. Alright, so now you have it. So it's just like, um, a little end screen. And just fade out. So all you want to do is go to the top Fusion Composition. Right click. And then you want to press Open in the Fusion page. And then I'll take you here. So now this looks kind of complicated. It's not. It's. Um. It's easy to navigate through. It should be easy to navigate through. But you just want to go here. Text one. And just change this to your name. So I'll do like Toad or something like that. And then you can change the font if you want. But the Maid Soul Maze one looks the cleanest. And then you don't have to change anything else here. Um. Yeah. You don't have to change anything else. You can change the color of font or the size. But I think this is the best settings for it. And now I just want to go through here. The second one. Right click. And then open in future page. And this one's just the background. So background of the ident. So you can change it whatever you want. You can do like red, white. No, I don't think white will work. But black will work. See black here. Yeah. So now you want to delta. Um. No, you just want to add, go to your generators in your toolbox if it's not open. It's effect library, click on it. Generators, dra drag in a solid color here, just like that. Make the background like a color that's not in your ident. So like a neon green for me, probably. So something like that. And then, if now you just want to render it. Um, here are some settings. I'm going to make this MP4. Um, this will be a H.264. You want to, you can make 1440p, 1080p, 1440p, or 1080p. It doesn't matter. It's your choice. And then you can make this max bitrate. It's usually at like 80,000, but then you just want to double click it and spam a bunch of ones. Press enter and it'll be the max bitrate. Here, also, you just, it'll be like 16 or something like that. So then drag it all the way up to 31. And that's it. You don't have to mess around with advanced settings. These are the good. These are good settings here, and then just add a writing queue. Save it wherever you want. I'm gonna save it to my downloads. Um, tutorial, end screen. Just type, name it whatever you want, and then just press render all. Alright, so now after you rendered it, um, let's be like this. Let's play it through. So now I just want uh you. Here, let me just drag in a clip real quick to show you that it takes off the background. So, yeah. Right now, after you have this, you just want to go here. Go in Fusion. Control Space. Double the gear. So that. Add it. And then I'll make the background color. Drag this little ink thing. Background. And I'll just be a outro slash end screen. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy and peace. Big cheese, all design of my jacket. Work hard and I'm changing my bracket. Talk tough, we ain't hear that racket. Guys came in, you know how to stack it. Take it wrong, but I'ma need my ends though. I got tigers on my chest like Kenzo. Rail came, yeah, he putting that Benz though. Carol's here, man, you know you stay ten toes.